one go tight. <laughs> Check out this spot. It's an old abandoned campground. Still has posts and stuff. But nothing here, right on the water. Just off Cabot Trail Road. Yeah, I like it. Got up early that morning. Uh, probably either should have stayed another day or uh, waited a couple hours before I left. I'd uh, be getting up early a lot these days, so I just thought I'd uh, get on my way after having my coffee and my smoothie in the morning. And to be honest, I didn't know that uh, going into the Cabot Trail that I'd be heading into uh, such high elevations. I thought it was just driving around the... Uh, Cabot Trail. I didn't know I was going into a mountainous region per se. But as I kept driving up and up, the fog kept getting thicker and thicker as I went. So there wasn't much of a uh, scenic view to see at all until I started coming down on the other side. So finally came down out of the mountains and could actually see a little distance again. So I decided to pull off here and see what kind of views you could see. Uh, took a couple pictures while I was here. So I'll give you guys a slideshow. <laughs> Coming around the corner scared this little guy, so I had to slow down, of course, to let him across the road. Uh, still driven across Canada multiple times now, and I've still never seen a moose. Unbelievable. Your destination is on the left. After about a 30-kilometer ride on uh, part pavement, part dirt road, part gravel, Got to Meat Cove Campground, which was recommended to me. Uh, pretty awesome spot with the uh, being right on the ocean and the mountains behind you, and uh, you're right on the cliff side of uh, the Atlantic Ocean. That's Jason in black there. He's the campground host, super nice guy. Uh, everybody's friendly out here, of course. But he gave me this uh, camp spot right across the way. I even got a good Wi-Fi signal from my campsite, which was another bonus, so I could watch Netflix at night. And of course, as you see, it was raining. All right, we were at Neat Cove Campground. Well, oh, and there's a the, uh, chowder hut as well. Uh, hasn't been open since I've been here. Might open for the weekend. Anyway, this is our spot. Pretty nice view. Uh, gonna spend the night here. This is the Atlantic Ocean right here. Spend the night here. We're about halfway around the uh, Cabot Trail at this point. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> We're doing the other half of the Cabot Trail tomorrow. Hopefully it's not rainy. I'm sure uh, most of the footage I got today was all uh, rainy and misty and everything, so... Couldn't see much, especially in the high, higher elevations. It was just complete fog up there. I could barely see uh, 10 or 20 feet in front of it. Well, the next day ended up being a lot nicer weather, but uh, as I left Meat Cove, I forgot to take the lens cap off the camera. So the whole drive around the other half of the Cabot Trail, uh, this is what you got.
Well, that didn't work out so well. Drove to uh, North Sydney to catch the ferry to uh, Newfoundland. And uh, you have to have reservations, apparently. <laughs> didn't know. Uh, so I'm going to go online, and the lady said there's nothing until the next three days or something like that. So she gave me a number to call for cancellations and stuff. And uh, I'm going to figure out what to do from here. Oops. Well, Newfoundland was a bust for today anyway. Uh, the closest reservation I could get to booking the ferry across was uh, 10 days from now. So I guess I'll uh, scratch that for now. And I'll go to PEI. Got to fill out information for PEI to get into there. But uh, maybe I'll do Newfoundland after PEI. It's not that much backtracking anyway, a little bit, but... Uh, yeah, so we're back at this uh, abandoned campground here. It was only about a 45 minute drive from uh, the ferry terminal. So yeah, better than staying in the city. Gonna stay here for the night and uh, do some editing and uh, just enjoy it much better than being in a parking lot somewhere. It's nice and cool with the breeze. Definitely not as cloudy as it was uh, the last time I was here, and it was raining. So yeah, nice ocean breeze. And uh, I'm sure Doozer likes it a lot better. Gets to sniff around. And uh, yeah, so we'll be heading, I guess, to PEI next. As long as I get confirmation of my uh, COVID vaccine entrance form. Anyhow, we'll see you in a bit. Oh, yeah.